हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे आई विल बी बस्टिंग सम ऑफ द कॉमन मिथ्स सराउंडिंग बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट आई एम डॉक्टर सिल्की जैन आई एम पीडियाटिक हिमाटो ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एंड बी एम टी फिजिशियन फ्रॉम मैक्स शालीमार बाग द फर्स्ट कॉमन मिथ इज दैट बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट इज अ सर्जिकल प्रोसीजर बट द फैक्ट इज दैट बोन मैरो ट्रांसप्लांट डजेंट इन्वॉल्व सर्जरी इन नीदर द पेशेंट एंड नॉर द डोनर It's purely a medical procedure wherein the blood forming stem cells are separated from the donor and are transfused to the patient just like a simple blood transfusion through a vein. The second common myth is that bone marrow is the only source of stem cells. But this is not true. There are other sources of stem cells also like cord blood and the most common source of stem cells which is used in India is the circulating peripheral blood. so the uh, concentration of stem cells in our circulating peripheral blood is low so to enhance the percentage of stem cells in the peripheral blood we use certain injections called growth factor and then separate the stem cells with the help of an apheresis machine so the third common myth is that bone marrow harvest is a very painful procedure and it requires prolonged admission in the hospital but the truth is that the donor is admitted just one night prior to the procedure or on the same morning and it is done in ot under general anesthesia so the donor cannot feel any pain during the procedure but since the procedure involves penetration of the hip bone with a needle the donor might feel some pain when the anesthesia being soft and the donor becomes conscious but then this pain is very transient it persists for only a day or two and it can be easily taken care of with the oral analgesics the fourth common myth that i will address is often people think that it is a blood group of the patient that needs to be matched with the donor before transplant but the truth is that when we talk about matching before transplant we refer to something called hla matching so what is hla hla are certain proteins present on our cells which are highly polymorphic and highly variable from person to person so they act like a genetic signature of the individual and it is the hla which is most important factor which we take into consideration when we talk about matching the fifth and another very common myth about bone marrow transplant is that it is associated with certain long term side effects so i would really like to emphasize that there are no long term side effects associated with bone marrow transplant to the donor it's completely a safe procedure and whatever side effects happen they are mostly transient and they are either related to the anesthesia in case of bone marrow harvest or related to the growth factor administration in case of peripheral blood harvest and the most common side effect that we see in donors undergoing peripheral blood harvest is that of bone pains due to stimulation of bone marrow with the growth factor again this is very transient it subsides as soon as we discontinue the growth factor and again it can be taken care of with the oral painkillers so in the end friends i would like to say that don't get misguided by these myths and whenever you are in doubt just go and consult your doctor who specializes in bone marrow transplant he would be your best guide thank you subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates